Where is the battle that brought John fought? Who is in this room? Reveal yourself to me. I want to see you. Why would you come and watch a video, love the video, and be blessed by the video and refuse to like the video? We can do that now. Let's change the mentality. Even as you're watching me now, click the like button. If you're watching over a telly, log in on your phone and click the like button. The more they like, the more the videos go around the world and are recommended across the globe. Don't you want people to be blessed by this same content? Then like. Share the video on your various social media platforms. Your subscription matters a lot to the growth and the development and also to the spread of the gospel of Christ. Do well to subscribe. If you are still seeing the subscription button, it shows you've not subscribed. And how do we grow this without you? And I'm sure the next movie you're about to watch is going to bless you richly. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. God bless you. Are you in dire need of gaining knowledge about filmmaking? Do you have a burning desire to be a force to be reckoned with in the social media space for God? Do you have passion for gospel drama? Do you want to have experience, skill, and training to your call? Here, Here is your hands and solution. solution. The Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop. FTW. A platform for raising kingdom giants for the end time harvest of souls through the media. The theme for this year's session is kingdom, kingdom relevant. Come and enroll with us for the basic certificate course. An advanced certificate course. For those who have undergone the basic course. courses include script writing, screenplay, acting, social media sensitization, and a host of other fantastic courses. You also stand the chance of featuring in our upcoming movie project after graduation. Opportunities also abound for shooting your own short movie. What are you then waiting for? 2022 academic session is coming up by August 7th till August 14, 2022 at Haigomo, Halapa, Akure Road, Undo City. Tuition fee is 21,000 Naira only. This covers for lecture materials, accommodation, and certificates. Food will be available for sale at affordable prices. For more information, call the following number 081 684 76985 or 070 644 00150. The Fejo's Baba Talent Workshop, an academy where men and women are raised for kingdom purposes and relevance. God bless you. As you prepare to watch this movie, listen to the following instructions. Number one, you advise to fast while you watch this movie. Number two, don't watch this movie without your jota and your pen. Number three, if you are watching this film in a large gathering in a church video, please let the ushers and the protocol team be very, very conversant with the crowd so that through the manifestation of God's power that we emit from this screen, there will not be any you know, manifestation that can lead to people injuring themselves. Number four, each part of this movie is going to be accompanied with a vigil every Friday. The Friday next to this Sunday is a vigil. VG for part 3, VG for part 4, VG for part 5. On YouTube, Pejus Baba TV, between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. Nigerian time. The part 3 is titled Voice of Sacrifice. The part 4, Strength of the Altar. The part 5, Sacrifice against Sacrifice. It's my prayer that the Lord will bless you mightily as you get set for this deliverance section through the movies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. All over now. Oh, please, dear. Let me stop your job. I don't understand this, please. Jesus. 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 Please. Philip, look at me. Philip, Philip, please. Jesus. Oh my God. 
Bro, John, what is that thing again? Why the fuck is John Lover for God's sake? First aid? No! He has not suffered any wound! I need the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the first aid to any spiritual emergency. Please be still in Jesus' name. Ha! What is it? My God. Oh my God. I thought it was all over. I thought it, I, I'm, 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 we are disturbed, bro, John. We are disturbed. Bro, John. I am a child of God. I now pray. I fast. What is it again? I don't know. I don't know. Eh? After all that needs to be done, have been done. And the problem keeps persisting like this. It's a common issue with almost everybody. But I, but I thought we've destroyed all the altars. Why is this happening again? <laughs> there is always something fishy about altars. There are still some hidden things about this issue of altars. I think we need to pray for more divine revelations. Like heavenly divine mysteries. Huh. And I guess that's why we are here. My God. We move again. that room and came back alive after the prayers. In fact, two of his uncles died as a result of this deliverance, which indicates destruction in the enemy's camp. Mm -hmm. Yes. I saw the keeper of their altar. I engaged him in a spiritual battle and that led me to the main headquarters. But, and I won by grace. Then what, what could be wrong again? Why this experience again? The secret things belong to the Lord, but the ones revealed belong to us and our children forever and ever. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. If the secret things belong to God, then there may be some things we may not know. No. Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him. Hmm. Hmm. I got something from that quote. The things revealed belong to us. Huh. Revealed. Revelation. Revelation. Hmm. No revelation, no result. Hmm. Where there's no revelation, the people perish. But I think we have prayed about this before. That God should reveal to us concerning the things happening in our lives. But you see, by now we have to be wise. There are three pillars to divine revelations. Three pillars? Mm-hmm. We only used the first pillar in prayer and we received. But you see, Jude, there are other dimensions that we did not engage. No revelation, no results. I just know this thing won't work out. Just need to work out. See all the problems it has caused. See all the problems. This, this, this issues, they predate us. They, they, they've been existing way before us. Even before Bible times. Dear, don't talk like this now. I believe that God can destroy every satanic altars. And after destroying them, what happens? They come back, they will respect the name of Jesus for a while. And stay. Then after a while, they come back more forcefully. It's not, it's not a permanent thing. 
it is the death of your two elder brothers. That baffles me. Why do they have to die? I don't understand. That, that's the problem you're talking about. That's the problem. Because you, you, you would think that after the deliverance, the solution comes and all these things become a thing of the past. But no. Even Philip has not been delivered. I am delivered. God has set me free. Yeah. Then why are you still conversing? Why? I am a work in progress. Yeah. That the person is admitted to the hospital does not ascertain health. He has only gone to a location of possibility. I am in God's hands. Yeah. Conversing in God's hands. He has stopped now. Ah ah. Abba. I think it's been a little bit encouraging. Ah. See, this, this issues are, are too problematic. I should have allowed that boy to break into that room. See the problem he has caused up. Pillars of my family are down. What are these pillars? What are these rules? The first rule is asking, which we engaged by praying and we received. You see, the rule of asking is receiving, and we only ask in prayers. Eh, uh, what then are the other pillars we did not engage? The next pillar is seeking. When we need divine revelation, asking in prayers is not enough. We must seek is what to find. And when we find, we knock the door of what we have found, and the door will be opened to us. It is then we have full revelation. Rodion, your sense of revelation is deep. So asking, seeking, and knocking bring revelation. When you ask alone, you receive a dimension of revelation and result. But when you seek, and then you shall find. And when you find, you knock the door of what is found, and the door will be opened. When you face the wrong door, no matter how much you knock, the door will not be opened. That means there is more to what we need to know about these altars. And that should be the reason why the deliverance of some people has refused to come. This is getting interesting because this is a solution to many people's problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could it be? That the reason why demonic patterns come and go is because we have been only asking in prayers hmm. without seeking to know the right door to knock. Hey, I receive my total and complete deliverance. Ah, in Jesus' name. You see, ask starts with letter A. Seek starts with letter S. And knock, start with letter K. All spells ask. Oh, my spirit is fired up. Say after me. I receive grace to seek for revelation in your word. I receive grace to seek, receive for, grace to seek for revelation in your word in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray. I receive grace to know the right door. Knock. Let's pray. I receive grace to know the right door and knock in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The right door to knock about my life, my destiny. I receive grace. <laughs> Foolish generation. I am the keeper. I keep the altar. Of course, altars may be destroyed indeed, but what sponsors it can bring it back to life. <laughs> Foolish generation! Generation that don't know that there are rules of engagement. <laughs> I like this job. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we've been waiting to receive you since uh, I don't know what happened, but you're welcome back. 
I'm very sorry, sir. I needed to fix up some things before coming. Okay, no problem. You are welcome. We hope to enjoy your services in the complaint. By the grace of God. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, uh, by the way, I wanted to ask, are there any workers in this company? Because um, on my way here, I saw nobody except the, the gate man. Oh. Well, there's no problem about that. Uh, most of them are on field trip, uh, so they will return soon. Okay, so no problem. Um, when I was, I was checking your CV, I saw your age to be... Um, sorry, excuse me. 27, right? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm 27. Um, no problem, then. We are fine. We are fine. Uh, um, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, what has my age got to do with the workers not being around? And I hope there's no problem. There's no problem, okay? Let me lead you around, okay? Uh, you'll be able to even pick up a five for yourself. Let's go, let's go, please. Let me show you around. You initiated the death of your uncle, my own younger brother. You broke into a room that even your father cannot enter until his cup is brought there. Why? Oh, oh, uncle, I keep telling you, I didn't break into the room. I did no such thing. What would I gain by the death of my uncle? I, 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 I would not be happy to, to see my uncle die. I do, I do not have any hand in it. You think you are so wise to break tradition and pattern that has been existed since you were born, even before you were born. Look, I am 70 and I met the pattern that way. Who do you think you are? I did no such thing. I, I did not. I didn't break into it. You have to believe me. But you were supposed to monitor the room, but instead you broke into it. I, 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 that's what I keep telling you. It wasn't me. I, I didn't break into the room. I, I, can I break into it? I didn't. Mike, <laughs> put your family in order because you shall surely die. Ah, 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 please. Baba, I can away, please. Please. Please help us. I just want to become a widow, please. But your husband has foolishly broke into a pattern. No, 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 no. No, he did it. He did it. It was one of the tenants that broke into the door. Please. You know what? We don't have anything to do with your tenant. Your first son is going for it. Hey. And you, after broken into that room, as he, as he, as he, as he make any changes in the life of your son? Not at all. He's still convulsed this morning. I don't know anything. Mama, please help us. I have spoken. Hey, Papa, please, Papa, Papa! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Mama, please, Mama, Mama. Mama. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I beg, come. Love us, I want to ask you one question. What is it? No problem. How old you be? Have you know will you be the new worker with the employer for this place? Why is everybody asking for my age? Is there a problem? How old you be? I'm 27. Mm. You still get three years. Good luck. Good three years to what? No worry, no worry. You understand where I am back. No. <laughs> what? Ah! Tell me what you said, bye bye. Three years, everybody. I'm seriously confused about the whole thing. The fact that you even said there are no workers in that company is another issue. Mom, I don't think there should be any need for confusion. With everything he has said, I, it means that there is something about 30 years of age that is considered in that company. They said I have three years. Huh? Three years to what? <laughs> we pray for revelation. We will seek for revelation and knock the right door. Thank God. Thank God you are here. I've been here 
two times earlier and I was told you are not around. Thank God I, I, I met you now. There's a problem, serious problem. What is it, bro, Mike? They said the education of you opening that third room is death. That I and my son Philip will die. Who said it? Who are those? My uncle, he came. He came and he said, in these seven days, I and Philip will die. Did he give you the exact date of your death? What has that got to do with anything? A you know, lot. I mean, if, if he came to make an announcement of your upcoming death, then he should be able to give the exact date and time of it. At least so that we can prepare well. John, what do you mean? This is a serious matter. We are not joking here. I'm not joking either. But when they said those things, what was your response? Uh, my response? Ah, my wife started begging him. You were begging them. What else would they have done? Wrong approach. Ha! When the devil and evil men come to make an evil pronouncement, you cancel it with a prophetic announcement. Has this your uncle died and lived again? No, he's my uncle. It is only those who have died and lived again that possess the key to hell and death. And so therefore, it is only Jesus Christ who has died and lived again. He is the only one that possesses the key to hell and death. And so therefore, we'll pray this prayer. Because Jesus died and lived again. Because Jesus died and Every lived. pronouncement of death against my life is cancelled. Every pronouncement of death against my Let's life pray that prayer. Because Jesus died and lived again. Because Jesus died and lived again. Every pronouncement, and lived again. Every pronouncement of death, of death against about my life is cancelled in Jesus. Name. Good morning, sir. Good morning, John. Yes, sir. So I don't know if you can allow me to take some of your time this morning. Um, Mr. John, I'll sit down. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. How can I help you? Thank you, sir. I wanted to ask the workers that are on feed, when would they be coming back to work? When would they be through? <sighs> Well, I, I can't tell. They may not be coming back down for some reasons. Maybe because they don't exist. Maybe because there are no feed workers anywhere. Sir, what is happening in this company? This is a big establishment. No worker. Um, Chief, you are barely a few hours into this company. I are you already prognosing into matters that are beyond you? Sensitive issues. Be careful. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. But what usually happens to workers in this company at the age of 30? Can you employ workers in this company beyond 30? How do you mean? What are you talking about? I know about altars. I know about patterns. I know that this company is just a body that needs a spirit to drive it. Because a body without a spirit is dead. Uh, um, Mr. John, come. Come on, Albert. Let's talk. I received your call that you needed my attention. It's about your patience that you kept with us. There are no improvement at all. Other derangements have left, but they are not responding to treatment. But why? I believe by now they should have been discharged. How about zeros? Once in a while, scam do recognize people. It's improving gradually, but zeros shows no improvement at all. Okay, can I see scam now? He's sleeping. And it is not good to wake them up, especially when they sleep unaided. I think Zerod needs spiritual evaluation. I, I am, am the God of sacrifice. sacrifice. His, His grandfather sacrifices only his sister, sister for money. And she will run You, you shall, shall die. die. Occasionally, <laughs> that's what you usually hear. That is why I said it's a spiritual case. 
I am the voice of Yota. That looks cloudy to me. And but I would like to play to see. Just give us more time. I promise you I'll be back with a lasting solution. More time, please. Well, I really cannot tell what happened before I came in from the United States. I came in to take over the company and I discovered that any worker by the age of 30, they just die. And I cannot just explain. But what kills them? How they just die? I cannot explain this. This is one of the biggest companies around. Mm -hmm. Home by my grandfather. But after his demise, my father took over. And I had to come in now because he's bedridden. He, he, he's suffering from stroke. So I, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't explain what is going on. Sorry about that, sir. But um, the gate man, why hasn't he died? It should be up to 30 or, or over. Oh, well, <laughs> Lucas is 31, really. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> it only affects official workers. Yes, and that is why it's been difficult getting new people employed. But I can't leave. I, I don't want the company to go down. I don't want it dead. But it's dead already. This business is already dead. What do you want to say about a company as big as this without any work? What you said, you know about patterns and altars. Well, I, I, I'm a Christian too. I have prayed. I've been told to fast. In fact, I, I've brought in different pastors from different denominations here to pray. But nothing has changed. Um, so what have they been praying about exactly? They've been praying that God will deliver us from altars. That's a dead and unproductive way of praying about altars. Prayers on altars is beyond just destroying it. They are rules of engagement. And that is what I'm currently looking and seeking for. Knowing divine revelations of the permanent destruction of altars. <sighs> Mr. John, whatever you can do to help me, please. I need your help. God will help us, sir. Amen. Mike, what have you come to do in my house? A murderer like you should not be given audience. Well, I have um, come to ask you some questions. Since you said Philip and I will soon die, um, it's part of putting one's house in order. It's good to know that you are dying soon. Now I'll give you audience. Sit. Thank you. You are okay. It, I said. Thank you. You're yeah, okay. All right. Ask your question. Good. I just want to know the exact date and time that we're going to die. You know, so that we can prepare well. Abi? Are you are you are you foolish? Is, is, is something wrong with you upstairs? What sort of a question is that? Asking me the day and the time you are going to die. Ah. Why are you not the one who said it? Why are you not the one who announced it that we are going to die? So, is it wrong for me to want to know the exact date time we are going to die? Ah. Alright. I don't know the time of your death. But all I know is that the violation of that pattern will cause you to die. After all, two of my siblings are dead. Daddy, have you died and lived again? Pardon? I said that you died and live again. <sighs> what is wrong with you, young boy? Is it possible for someone to die and, and live again? Then it means you don't have the keys of hell and of death. <laughs> keys of hell and death? What are you talking about? Then it means you have not tested the dimension of life and death. <sighs> My. What is wrong with this thing you call your son? What is he saying to me? 
I am saying to you that you cannot pronounce that for anybody. You don't even have the keys. Mike, what is your son saying? Listen to him. You will soon understand. Philip, go on. I know of a man that died and lived forevermore. Mm. And he has the keys of hell and of death. Mm. Where did you get the information from? It is in Revelation, the second chapter, the first verse in the archives of the greatest book ever known. Dad, let us go. He doesn't know the date. We cannot die. Let us go. Let's go. Yes. You have to leave that company. You have no business there. <laughs> the Lord gave me the job for a purpose. And I know it is to set captives free from their bondages. Yes. But don't forget what you told me. If you fight another man's battle, you will carry another man's bruise. I know. And I will pray about it. And about your friend, Xerox, that, that, I want to find out something. That word, voice of sacrifice. What does that word mean? I don't know. I am also confused. <laughs> we need to pray about it. Seriously. <laughs> Again? What is this all about? You see, we will pray. Let's let's rise and pray. Let's rise and pray. You see, there's a dimension of dream that we need to engage. Mm. This dream is a dream that reveals your future to you. Mm. And it is called Joseph Dream. Mm. You shout this loud and clear. By your mercy, O oh God. By, By your, your mercy, mercy O oh God. My Joseph dream. My, My Joseph dream. And bear in Jesus' name. And bear in the mighty name of Jesus. By your mercy, O God. By your mercy, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. By your mercy, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are getting there. Yes. But we are not yet there. Mm. You see, there is another dimension of dream and the prophetic. Mm. You see, this dream is a dream that lifts you from the valley of despondency and sets you on the mountain of expectancy. Mm. This dream ensures that your value is needed in the palace mm. and that you are the solution. Mm. It ensures that there is a problem in the palace mm. and you are the one needed to solve that problem. Mm. It is called your pharaoh's dream hmm. you shout this loud and clear by your mercy oh god by, by your mercy, mercy oh god, god my pharaoh's dream my pharaoh's dream happy yeah. prayers in, in the mighty name of jesus, jesus. My, my father was in my own God. The my dream that we bring to the people. Yeah, in the mighty name of Jesus. The dream that was my value to reach the palace. By your mercy, oh God. God. Ah, the dream that was my value to reach the palace. Let it appear. Let it appear. In the mighty name of Jesus. My dream that was my value to reach the palace. Let it appear. Let it appear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is another dimension of dream. We have not gotten there. This is a dream that reveals secrets in dark places mm. that can never be known by any wise man. Mm. No wise man can divulge that kind of secret. And that dimension of dream is called Daniel's dream. Mm. By your mercy, O God. By your mercy, O God. My Daniel's dream. My Daniel's dream. Appear. Appear in, in the mighty name of Jesus. By your mercy, O God. 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 Appear in the mighty name of Jesus. Appear, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Appear 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 in the mighty Daniel chapter 2 verse 22 Because all these things happen here in the realm of the darkness mm -hmm. I think we need Daniel's dream prophetically to know them You see, the best time to pray this kind of prayer that brings revelations mm -hmm. is at night You want to get in bed quickly and begin to meditate on the scriptures mm -hmm. And pray this prayer Then God will speak to you mm -hmm. When your mind is calm and your spirit is at rest Because no revelation, no results. No results. No 
Lucas. Oga. Lucas. Okay. What did you tell the worker that we just employed? New worker, be Mr. John. Ah, can you imagine the rubbish she's telling me? Which other worker did we just employ? Oga, no verse. I don't tell him anything. We don't even talk. We don't talk. Are you very sure? Oga, I know life for you before. Me and him, we don't discuss anything. Lucas, if I find out that you told him something, I will sack you. Amen. Ah, sorry. I don't I don't wait to talk, Oga. I don't wait. Oga, no verse. Luca, see this foolish. Where they threaten me with one dead company. I don't they look for a better place. Nonsense. Bro John, I am getting weak and confused. Has this altar not been destroyed or what exactly happened the day you entered the third room? Philip, don't be disturbed. Don't be confused. It's the plan of the devil. What happened the day you entered the third room? Philip, it was a spiritual warfare. A spiritual battle between two kingdoms. Did you win the battle? Mm -mm. How do you think I was able to come out of that room alive? Or how do you think Two people died in your father's house, if I didn't win. Who did you see in that room? Philip, <laughs> your questions are much. Hmm? You see, the person I saw in that room does not matter. What matters now is our total deliverance. Exactly. But these people still attack me, even with my Jesus. Philip. Sir. Do you believe Jesus Christ came so that he might destroy the works of the devil? Yes, I believe. But where is the result? Our result is only secured in the level of revelation that we have. Brucho, give me prayer points. I want revelation. There seems to be no any other mother in my family except you. Good. You see, Philip, um, tonight, before you sleep, you're going to pray that, Lord, Reveal deep secrets, hidden mysteries about my life to me, prophetically, after the order of Daniel in Jesus' name. Is that all? That is all for now. Because that prayer is enough to bring total deliverance. The greatest weapon of the devil is deception. But when the deceived knows the truth, then deception dies. And the deceiver no longer have an advantage. Hmm? I called you because you have started saying some things. And I really don't understand. Holy Spirit will give you understanding. You see, most times, people like this are used to reveal things that ordinary men can't see. You see, sir, this is not a spiritual environment. We don't need deep things here. We only take care of mentally deranged people. How then do you now hope to live this life without the revelation of deep things? It means you just want to live an ordinary life. What do you mean? You see, people that don't have interest in spiritual things, in deep mysteries, it only means they want to live a life that devil will cheat them. And that is what, that's the devil's strategy. What exactly? I am the voice of sacrifice. I am the strength to hold her. The old attack can, can never, never be destroyed. The, the boy, boy still exists. Exist. Yes. 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 Can you hear that? I guess the deep things you said I need. Gibberish. Nonsense. You see, every revelation is nonsense and doesn't have meaning if you have not gotten to your level or season of battle. And that is why the Bible says, Remember thy creator in the days of thy youth, when the evil day has not come. I hear you. What is the solution? I am the strength of the altar. The altar cannot be destroyed if the voice exists. Does the altar have a strength? Does it have a voice? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. But I know we are in the second stage of revelation, seeking. And when information meets us like this, it's only for us to 
study the scriptures and find more. Brother, I have something to say. Because since we departed earlier, I have started to seek. And I think I can say some things. Good. Philip, speak up. Mm -hmm. The first altar specifically mentioned in the Bible was the one erected by Noah in Genesis 8 20. Noah built an altar and he took every clean beast of every clean fowl and burnt them on the altar. Mm. Yes. I think I read that too in the scripture. The Bible says, and the Lord smelled the sweet savour and decided not to curse them again. Mm. Exactly, ma. This is where I'm going. If the voice says, I am the voice of the sacrifice, I am the strength of the altar, could it be referring to the offerings that were sacrificed on the altar? Hmm. I am the voice of the sacrifice. An altar is nothing without the sacrifice and offering placed on it. And so, if there are no sacrifice and offering, an altar is useless. Hmm, Rajon. I think this seeking is gradually pushing us to an answer. Hmm. But we will seek more in His Word. Hmm. Because any Christian that is not rich in the scripture is writing a letter to Sheen. Really? Yeah. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed. Mm. But I marvel at the way the mental manager is detesting Revelation. Don't mind him. It's not his fault. He's not yet in his seasons of evil days. Mm. You see, just like many people who have begun to have dreams, evil dreams, negative dreams, serious revelational dreams, but they do nothing to it. They ignore it. Why? Because they are living large, they are still convenient, everything is going on with them. They don't know that these dreams are signals telling them to prepare for the evil days ahead. Hmm. Remember now thy creator. In the days of thy youth. Don't the evil days are not come. Ma! I'm just calling you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. A foolish generation. They know nothing about leg of ground. So blank. Match it, egg. Machidek! Machidek, you're welcome. It's my pleasure, my keeper. Why did you come with the calabash in your hand? My keeper, it is very necessary to guide this jealously now. It is the strength of your heart. Good job. I heard your halter was destroyed, Machinek. Yes, it was. But it has been rekindled. Halter is just a platform to build a placement for sacrifice. To destroy an halter, it makes no meaning. Unless you destroy the sacrifice. And there are rules of engagement to destroy the sacrifice. Machinek, men shall continue to be in our bondage. <laughs> Didn't their book say they perish for the lack of understanding? That understanding they shall never get and the truth must be far away from them because once they know the truth marchy the heck once they know the truth the truth 
will set them free. But they will never know the truth. They must never, never know the truth. Keep striking them. Keep monitoring the sacrifice. Amplify the voices. Let them keep destroying the altars. We will keep rebuilding it as long as the voice of sacrifice is on it. <laughs> I have no other job. I have been in their family for over 180 years. I have become a strong old. I have destroyed generation with the same altars. Their own must not be the end. Why must it end with them? <laughs> deception must not die. <laughs> when the deceived and the deceiver know the truth, deception has died. <laughs> Why must it end with this one? Why must they send me out of my jaw? It will never end with this one. Keeper, it will never end with this one. <laughs> I will not take that. Enough of this demonic dagger. Philip, that is why I came. Ah, Philip, what no is way. it? No way. I will send you out of your job. When the deceiver knows the truth, deception dies. Lord, I receive grace to know the truth and understand it. I receive grace to gain spiritual mastery. Capable of displacing the monarchy, Jesus and Jesus. Who are you talking to? Shout to no way. Eh? Shout to no way. Philip! What is it again, Philip? What is it? It is the revelation, the beginning of deliverance. Shout to no way. How do you mean? Shout to no way. Philip. Philip. Do you want to kill me? Philip. Bro John, we are making progress with this new level of revelation. Uh, but don't you think it is taking too long in getting revelation? No, it can't be too long. You see, um, do you know why? Because the day revelation fully comes, deliverance comes. Mm. So we must be patient with God as he reveals the truth to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you see, with the few we have now, we can begin to engage the thought pillar on it, mm -hmm. knocking. Because revelation will definitely come to everyone who is worthy and seek it. Revelation is the communication of truth, the truth which actually sets free. Exactly. Mm. And you see, after now, we are going to pray on these mm. um, few revelations that we have got. And it's going to work for everybody who can pray and believe in faith. Of course, because when there are men that can pray, there is a God that can answer. Mm -hmm. No prayer is a waste, no category exempted. All I know is that this pattern must end with me. Mm -hmm. I will win this battle through Christ. Amen. 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 And if Philip eventually wins the battle, do not think it's over. In fact, don't be complacent. Because you are had the battlefield. Have you ever asked him why he kept saying no way? Because he won't talk to us. In bro, Mike, that is not the issue. I mean, what Philip said is not the issue for now. When your neighbor defeats the devil, the devil will definitely come back to the neighborhood to revenge. Mm -hmm. Please, Ma. What would you advise me to do? The same thing I've been talking about all this while. Prayers. 
prayers. Let the life of your son Philip challenge you. Raise a family prayer altar in your home. You see, can you hear that? Can you hear the prayer? Please, shall we be on our feet as we begin to pray? Demonic agencies monitoring my destiny. Demonic agencies monitoring my destiny. Scatter never to gather. Scatter never to gather. In the mighty name of Jesus. Demonic agencies monitoring my destiny. Scatter never to gather in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter never to gather in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter never to gather in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice of sacrifice on my altar. Every voice of sacrifice on my altar. Be silenced. Be silenced. Name of Jesus Christ. Every voice of sacrifice on my altar, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, be silent, 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 be Kill the strength of my altar. We can and kill the strength of my altar. We can and kill the strength of my altar. We can and kill the strength of my altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mercy, we can and kill the strength of my altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mercy, we can and kill the strength of my altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, we can and kill the strength of my altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mercy, we can kill the strength of my altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mercy, we can kill the strength of my altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your mercy, any counter attack as a result of this prayer is rendered no avoid in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray as in the mighty name of Jesus. Every counter attack as a result of this prayer is rendered no avoid in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, whether we are praying right or wrong, the good news is that we are talking to God. Oh, yes. And as God has yes, I can hear. Yes, Let's pray. Oh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I receive victory over every demonic pattern working against my life and home. In the name of Jesus. Pray over your mother. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive victory over every demonic attack working against my life, against my home. In the name of Jesus. I receive victory. Amen, 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 Jesus. Amen. Are you praying at all? We are praying. Yeah, are you not praying? Pray. No, we are that, praying. that is not how to pray. When you pray, you open your mouth and pray. You don't murmur. Prayer is communicating, talking to God. You don't murmur. You talk when you are praying. Now we are going to pray. We we'll say, Lord, Lord, by your mercy, by your mercy, break every ancestral covenant working against my life, against my home. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, by your mercy, break every ancestral covenant working against my life, against my home. Break every ancestral covenant working against my life, against my home. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Do you know there is problem? There is problem. Because you are under serious spiritual attack. Ah, uh, are you cursing us? No, I'm not cursing you. But every supposed Christian who cannot pray are definitely under spiritual attack from the pit of hell. I mean, how do you come in with the divinity if you cannot open your mouth and pray? Hey. Eh? In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Come in, please. Good morning, sir. Mr. John. What exactly is wrong with you? You've been away from work for a while now. How do you know this is out of your responsibility? And your probation? I'm very sorry, sir. Okay, there are so many files left on your table untreated. Sir, what's the use of the file left on the table untreated when there are many lies on the job left unveiled? Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I've never for once left this job. I have been present at all times. John, you are speaking with me, okay? Stop speaking in parables. Okay? You've not been at work for days. So, how have you been present? 
I'm not speaking in parables, sir. I'm speaking in the prophetic. I may not be physically present, but sir, I must tell you, I am spiritually present in this company at all times. How do you mean? <laughs> sir, do you think this company exists? What is a company without workers in it? No workers, no staff. What is a company without customers? Are you truly proud to be the MD of this company? Why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this? Mr. John, I believe we can work together to resuscitate this company. Exactly what I'm doing. Working with you to resuscitate the company. But we're not working together. Not at all. Okay, what recommendation have you brought to the table now for us to work with? Huh? You're not physically present. Being physically present at a company or organization that has been spiritually transacted or bought is no use. Chief, if you continue speaking this way, it's not good. And this attitude, but you end up losing your job. <laughs> Sir, sometimes you have to leave to leave. Sometimes you have to break up so you don't break down. Sir, support me. Why not work together with me to resuscitate this company and restore this company? So I'm the one to work with you now. Now that you are the MD, what do you recommend? I'm not the MD, sir. But then I will take my leave now and will come back to you to ask you some questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Dear, the only solution I see is let us send them away. Their presence brought this attack in the first place. Please, let them go. I think that's the best thing for me to do now. Because they're the ones who caused all this havoc in the, in the first place. The problem started the day John broke into that room. Because of that, your two uncles died. And now our son no longer confides in us, but then alone. What sort of thing is that? So where is that Philip now? Ah, where else would he be? He has gone back to their room. Uh -huh. Does he spend any time here again than to hit and go? He even sleeps there at times. No, I have to send them away. I have to send them away. I'll give them like um, a week or so to get any accommodation. Ah, dear, please do. I can't continue to condone this. Well, they have to leave. Without discouragement, uh, you'll be fine, eh? Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. My sister, um, I've called you here for a reason. Uh, please um, don't be annoyed with um, what I want to say. Um, I just know that it's a decision I have to make now. And that's why I've decided to call you. Who called is wrong? Um, all is well, my sister. All is well. Um, I called you here to let you know that um, we will need you to pack out of the house, and then um, we will give you one week, you know, to search and then um, to get another place to live. Bro, Mike, have I offended you? Did my children offend you? Please tell me if they did. I will sincerely apologize. Uh, no, not at all, not at all. It's just a decision between my wife and I, you know. 
When you came in, you said it was just um, for a while before you get your permanent first, um, accommodation. It's been six months now that you've been living here and I've never collected a dime from you. So I, I think I really tried in that right. So I want you to get another accommodation. Mm. Yes, you have tried. You really tried for us. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. At least we enjoy every time spent here. Mm. Thank you very much. Okay. I will relate the information to my children and will take the necessary step mm. as soon as possible. Thank you. All right. I appreciate you. Welcome. I appreciate you also. I'm not surprised. It is expected to happen. It's obvious that Bromaik and his wife do not want to leave darkness. They enjoy staying in darkness. I'm only feeling for Philip. Philip might not be able to cope with that situation. He will cope. He will cope. God will help him. The search for another house begins. We're given just one week to vacate this place. The Lord will provide another place for us. Amen. That is not possible. They cannot leave this house. Are you the one to decide whether they leave this house or they stay? Philip, are you serious at all? Look at the way you're even talking to us. I am sorry, Sama. But at this stage of my life, I beg to say that I cannot afford to lose them. Please let them stay. I need them. No. They are leaving this house in a week's time. And there is no going back. They are the cause of the calamity that befell you, Philip. That's not true, Mom. I have been conversing before they came. Their presence brought light. Their presence brought illumination. Their presence brought illumination? Oh, no wonder. No wonder I keep having problems in my home. No wonder you keep getting attacked even after the prayers. Dad, I am delivered. This is just a process and it shall pass. Besides, when last did you see me converse? Please let them be. They have nowhere to go. No way. They are leaving this house. Then I live with them. They step out of this house, then I follow them. I am not ready to join in darkness. How do you mean, Philip? I refuse to be among the generation that wants to be playing games with the devil. I am not negotiating my freedom with the devil. Philip, <laughs> you are going nowhere. You cannot force me, Dad. You can't tie me down. I need to follow who knows the road. It is very risky for me to stay here with you. The fire currently burning in me must not go down. Oh, so we are the fire executioners. Exactly. Anyone who does not believe in prayers, in secret place, in the study of the word of God, is a fire extinguisher, and the one who carries fire must have scorned. Philip, what are you saying to us? Are we not Christians? Didn't we take you to church? Didn't we buy your first Bible? That's religion, but that's not all. Religion will only make me a normal Christian, and I don't want to be normal. I want to carry his presence. I want to carry fire. Philip, I will ask you a question. And I demand you answer me just once. Philip, are you okay at all? My words can never be okay before you because they are spirit, they are light, they are not religion, they are not tradition. You took me to church, yes, but did you take me to Calvary? No. You bought my first Bible, of course, but did you teach me how to study the word of God? No. Did they tell you to tell us all this? Is that what they taught you? No, they taught me how to silence demonic spirit and they will obey. When I was under attack, all you could do was just to cry and you could not command. They taught me how to seek for revelation. Did you teach me? No, you send them out and follow them. What has come over you, Philip? What's the problem? The company you keep determines what accomplishes you. It is too risky for me to stay here with you. My fire must not go down. Environment and atmosphere is key when spiritual fire is needed. Rise up, 
yesterday's peace. What heffantry do you have to come into this sacred room? You call it a sacred room? <laughs> but as far as I'm concerned, well, this is one of the rooms in my father's house. This is not your father's house. Oh, the earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof. Even you and including this room. Shut up! <laughs> Young boy, what have you come here to do? I have come to introduce myself to you. That I am the next victim to happen in this family. And to mark an end to this pattern in my family. <laughs> <laughs> Young boy, you're definitely not leaving this room alive. You have overstepped your boundaries. You shall die. This is beyond you, boy. It may be beyond me, but definitely not beyond God. <laughs> You are just a young boy. Must you die young? I will not die young. Because I have been satisfied with long life and salvation. I may be young. But I carry his way. Oh, can't you see his presence? Shut up! What exactly do you do? I want all this nonsense pattern in my family. To end with me. You are just signed your death, Mara. You shall die. And who are you to declare my end when the Lord has just started with me? Hey, uh... Yeah. 